Well, let's start by saying that we are not selling Talisman. Uh, we are not shopping for a new boat ourselves, um, but we've recognized that people are out there looking uh, to try to see what is available. And uh, we had the opportunity to kind of walk through on this boat. And I thought, you know, it'd be nice just to kind of kind of show the viewers what is out there these days. Um, and so at the end of this episode, I'll, I'll kind of give my thoughts about the whole thing. Um, but uh, in the meantime, here we go. So typical of a, of a um, kind of a, you know, coastal cruising um, production boat, a very, very large entertaining area, twin helms, um, wider transom area. Uh, so it, 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 you know, the twin helms fit nicely in the layout. Um, and this is always what you get with, a, with this type of a boat, is you get the quarter berths in the back, you don't get a big giant aft stateroom. But what you do get is you get um, wonderful entertaining areas. Um, not a lot of teak, and that's a feature um, for a lot of people. They like that. Flush hatches. And here we've got a companion way you can walk, walk down forward. Yeah. Air conditioning inside. It's got this, you know, um, laminate type flooring throughout, which is great. It stuff's indestructible. Um, mostly veneer wood um, but you know got a nice uh, galley area here things can look underneath okay. good stowage down there yeah a little condensate from the air conditioning Batteries are easily accessible, um, nicely wired and run. I don't know how many amp hours it has, probably a 12 volt system, I would imagine. Hard to say. Over here is what I guess would serve as a nav station, um, not really a dedicated one, but it's a 43, you know. And so here you've got one of the quarter berths, and you know, they, they have a tendency maybe to feel a little tight, but. What ends up happening is, if you're on passage, the owners would, would relocate back to one of these if they could, assuming you don't have kids or something. And, and this would be the place where you could survive a, a you know, bumpy, lumpy passage. Here's your engine access on struts, obviously Volvo Penta from the color. And uh, new, and she tells us, just basically uh, put into into charter this year, but um, but otherwise new. It's not really been used too hard. So low hours on everything. Are you breaking? Yeah. Are you breaking the place in there? No. I've been trying. Little TV. Let's go up front, forward, and see what we got. You know, this is like little details like this is kind of what you get with these boats, and, and it's nice, you know. I like the air conditioner, and that's a big, big plus. Uh, and you get the V-berth up front. And this is the owner suite. Uh, big old uh, supply air right there. Um, right on top of your head, but you know what? I mean, you can move it around if you want it. Yep. Refrigerators are um, done like this with drawers. It's not a stand-up refrigerator freezer, but you know what? It's, it's perfectly fine. Boy, this, this boat sure feels like the Dufour 425 that we chartered many years ago. Um, it's got a nice little shower in here with a you know, Lexan style um, uh, door so that you don't have to, it's, it's a wet shower 
a wet head as they call it. Yes, ma'am. Um, a little bit of uh, corian tops here and a vessel sink. Um, so when you turn this cutting board type surface over, it's got places for for, for cup like a cup holder um, type of setup. Using this tray on the table too. Yeah, it's kind of nice. You know, it's just mm -hmm. if you own the boat, you find all sorts of little cool tricks. But of course, things like these, you know, these kitchen items would go absolutely flying if you were yeah. even sailing, let alone you have to find something. You know, they have locks on all the on all the, the drawers. Mm -hmm. Kind of a soft, got like a soft, soft, soft yeah. clothes. It's, it's, nice. it's all melamine type stuff, but it's good. And then you lock it by just pressing the button. Yep. I do like this uh, concept of hatch within a hatch. Oh. You know, it's kind of cool because you can, you know, if you just want to get to the, that particular thing. You yeah, depth transducer there. Then you can just get to that without pulling up the whole floor. Oh, let me pull it up again. Let me see. Yeah. That's, a, that's a speed transducer. Mm -hmm. Oh, so to get through, to the, it's through, through hole, holes. Through holes. Yeah. Gotcha. So here's our kind of German main sheet style system um, on a traveler. And, uh, <clears throat> and up front you've got all your lines running back to the cockpit. So no need to come up, you know, come up forward. Self-tacking jib on a, on a car. Um, runs back and forth. Flush hatches, lots of light inside. I'm happy with that. And here you've got bow sprit. You put a, you know, you could put a um, continuous furling Jenniker or cruising chute up front on that. And it's a nice, uh, nice receptacle for your anchor. And this would be your chain locker here. On struts, which is nice. It looks like galvanized ten mil chain. If I had to guess, this is a remote control for the windlass. So it's protected, you know. It's not a lot of chain there. I'd say it's probably no more than 50 meters of chain. Could probably stand to be more. I'm looking forward to that, running that this summer. So here we have a, um, you know, basically a slab reefing system, uh, lazy bag with lazy jacks. And probably a couple of reefing points on it. It's probably a two reefing point uh, sail. And I'm um, I'm quite impressed by the size of this boom. Uh, the booms and and occasionally goosenecks can be a little bit of the weak link in some of these boats. Uh, but this one looks really burly. Uh, I mean, it really is. It's a Z-Spars um, system, and uh, you know it doesn't look bad. It really doesn't. We chartered the Do 4425 a bunch of years ago, so that's probably like one of the first videos in our series. Uh, that boat ran like a scalded cat. I mean, it's a it's a lightweight boat, and it's fast, it's quite fast. I was, I was I was very surprised how easy it was to get up into the into the eights and nine knots. Uh, I don't know if the uh, how well tuned the transducer was, but uh, nonetheless, it just seemed like it was an easy boat to get going fast. Um, so you get that. So here we have the you know swim platform um, on Dyneema. I don't know if it's uh, if it's powered or not, but either way, swim platforms are really fun. It's a great, great way to have, great, great feature to have, I should say. Um, I imagine this is the gray color is probably gel coated, uh, so it came this way from the factory. It's not just paint over top of white. You can see from the amount of water running through that scupper that. This, this, um, these types of uh, air conditioning systems need a lot of water flowing through them in order to work, especially in this humid environment. There's a chain plate system. If I was going to buy the boat, I'd probably want to look a little bit closely at, at where they attach and how they attach on the inside. I'm sure there's a bulkhead behind that. I mean, the fit and finish is nice. It's 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 um, standard issue do for it. Good stuff. Bigger bigger stainless tubes. And a lot of canvas. Split back stay.
Well, that was fun. We really enjoyed that. Um, we wanted to have the opportunity to take a look and see what the newer production boats are looking like, and this is a, a perfect example of it. Um, when we talk about production boats, we're really talking about the big design houses like Beneteau and Genoa, Dufour, uh, Hansa, uh, Bavaria, uh, and there's definitely a few others out there. They, these are boats that are designed for inshore cruising, uh, primarily, and, and entertaining. So they're price point boats that are designed to be able to be used, uh, to, you know, you, you're going to sail between marinas along the shore, um, not too much heavy, heavy weather sailing. And if you were to compare it to cars, you know, Talisman and uh, in the, in the, the blue water offshore boats uh, would be pickup trucks and, and these would be sedans. Uh, and they're, and they're, they're fun, they're designed for certain uh, use, they're, they're just fun boats to have because they're fast, uh, they're easy to sail, they generally don't have real deep draft, so you can take them places uh, with shallow channels and whatnot. Uh, and it's, um, and, you know, if, you, if you're looking to get into the game, that's, it's, it's a great way to do it, uh, you know, on a budget. Uh, if you had to take a boat like this down to the Caribbean or to Europe or something, you could pay a transfer, transfer skipper to do it. And they'd get a couple of, uh, you know, seasoned crew members and, 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 and pick a good weather window and go. Um, they Almost all of them are rated A ocean uh, so that they've got most of what you need. Although, you know, you'd probably have to go add a life raft and, and some other things. I mean, they're just designed more for inshore uh, work. And so maybe not as many winches as you would want, not as big, uh, you know, the winches maybe not as big as you'd like them to be uh, for that sort of uh, use. Um, but anyway, just a you know, fun boat to have, and that's, and that's really what it, what it is. You will give up certain things, like I don't think there's a gen set on this boat, and you probably would not be able to make it up easily with solar and, and wind turbines. Um, for, for everything that people talk about, it's just there's not enough consistent wind and consistent sun you know, unless, you're, unless you are in places like the Caribbean. And even then, it's tight. Uh, you'd have to really watch your energy consumption. But uh, there was a 54 um, foot version of this boat, and we had an opportunity to look at it closely, but they were, you know, they were inside showing it to some other people. So we didn't want to really get in the way of that. But if there's any questions at all, for sure, like put them in the comments. Let's start a discussion about what these boats are for.